You're on. All right. Uh, hello there. Uh, look, it's an exciting time right now. There are youth from all around the world starting to really come together around this climate change stuff. Power shift this year in Washington. There were 10,000 kids from all across the country. Unbelievable. And the same kind of thing happening all over the planet. And the next big day for all of this, the next big chance is September 24th. Uh, we're calling it Moving Planet. And there'll be actions going on all over the planet. And most of them will be bicycle based. People on bicycles because they're a part of the solution. Because bicycles are the one thing that rich people and poor people both use. It's going to be beautiful and powerful. We need your help. Now, to this question about population and the link. The thing that's driving climate change most of all is increased consumption, not increased population. But population is important. And I think it's especially important in places like the United States, where consumption is so high that more people mean a lot more carbon in the atmosphere. So I wrote a book years ago called Maybe One, An Argument for Smaller Families. And it was an argument about how people, especially in the rich part of the world, might think about having smaller families some of the time. Uh, I have one child myself. And one of the points of the book was just to make clear to people that only children aren't crazy or spoiled or, you know, sad or anything else. They're just completely normal like everybody else. Right. Um, uh, so I think it's really important to think about these questions, especially in places where consumption is so high that each new baby means a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, more carbon in the atmosphere. Right. Okay, thank you. All right.